Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, The Help Chanel's 4 Days World. If you haven't subscribed, please do so at this time. Like the videos and get the notification uh, notifications by hitting the bell button um, when you're signing up to subscribe to the channel so you'll know when I upload and drop new videos for y'all to preview. But Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Season's Greetings, and all that jazz, okay? But I have a story about... Whitney Houston and Clyde Davis, okay? And I want to go over that brother house and say, you know you wrong. You know you wrong, Clyde. Clyde, you know you wrong now. You don't supposed to be dropping tea. If you didn't drop the tea about Whitney's sexuality prior to Whitney leaving this world, you know you wrong. And he was like, no, Dale, I ain't wrong. People want to know. She didn't clarify, so I'm going to clarify allegedly. Okay, all of this is in my mind of me having a conversation with Clyde, okay? I'm like, Clyde, why you do that to that girl? I mean, Luther Vandross, his, his agent, you know, were you with Luther Vandross? Clyde, did you have him on your contracts? Anyway, we ain't know about Luther. I mean, we knew, but it wasn't something that we were going to put out there. And... It was never that anything really put out there until Dionne Warwick, or was that Pat? No, that was Patty LaBelle. She opened her mouth to my, uh, if his fans knew that he was like in another uh, type of relationship that wasn't with a female, <clears throat> they would run from him. They would shun him. They wouldn't buy his records. They wouldn't love him anymore. Well, Patty, you know, I did a video on that, I think on this channel, way in my archive somewhere. Patty, if he didn't say it, you had no reason saying it when he was deceased. I'm like, oh, see, that's why I fell out with Patty. My patty, patty, patty. I love my patty, patty, patty. Until she did what she did. Because that's, mm -mm. that's impolite, that's rude, and that's a disingenuous that you did on your so-called friend, Luther Vandross. Okay? Those who had eyes saw, those who knew the understanding was over, overstood the situation. Okay? We're going to go back to Clyde. I said, Clyde, Clyde. What's, what's the whole thing with this biopic? Why we couldn't get it when she was living? He said, well, she was so busy. And then she was, you know, doing other things and, you know, uh, taking part of things that she shouldn't have been taking part of. And, you know, I said, well, all thing you had to do was say, you ain't going to pay her no more money. You know, I know addiction is real and it's a mental illness and this, that, and the third. But you could have said, I ain't giving you no more money. You ain't going to be able to live the lifestyle. You ain't going to be able to pay your bills unless you go into rehab and you get it, got it good. You get off this thing. We'll take it one day with you, but you're going to have to be the strong catalyst in this situation because we can't watch you 24 sale. But, you know, I'll pay for the rent in your house if you, if you still have a mortgage. If you don't have a mortgage, I'll pay the taxes. I'll make sure you're good with all your food and stuff. Your door in private school. Um, let me see what else I can do for you. Uh, put you a little pocket change, uh, you know, in there for you when you want to go out and spend. You have an expense account up to a certain limit. Uh, let me see what else we can do for you. And we'll, we'll, we'll give you some spending money for the for the month, okay? But it ain't going to be involved with no no drugs or nothing to that situation. We got to be kosher with this thing. In case you can't say no more, at least you can be around and see all the things that I'm going to try to do for you. And maybe you can go, uh, to, when that, well, we'll say, we won't say tour, but uh, he was trying to get her to go like maybe five or six, seven times out the year, you know, in a 365-day span, you know, I said, you could have did that, he said, I tried, I tried, but she failed, she failed, so I had to uh, go on and get the story, because if I didn't tell it, somebody else was going to tell it, I said, show you right, show you right, Clyde, show you right, but damn, you had to, you had to do the girl like that, you had to do it like that, that could have been something still, and I remember memory breaks, I wonder if she was, I would you know, or, or, or I wonder if she ain't. That's where you should have left us. Hell, Robin already had wrote the book. 
saying they had this, that, and the third. But who's going to really believe Robin? Who's going to really believe Robin? And all the you know, people knew that was close to her. But again, they shouldn't be dropping the tea on her either. I mean, me personally, I think Whitney should have came out and said, yeah, I did this with her. I ain't ashamed of it. And let God judge me because y'all can't. And that's what, you know, I would if I were Whitney, I would have did something like that because there wouldn't be nobody holding that over my head like it's an embarrassment or shame for whatever. If I'm going to be shamed, I'm going to be embarrassed, I'm going to clock my own teeth. But, you know, Whitney was her own person. She did what she wanted to do, how she wanted to do it, and when she wanted to do it. The Clyde, you know you wrong. You got Pat Houston out here trying to sit there and and uh do a what do you call that thing? A mirage or some type of hologram is what they call it. You're gonna try to put Whitney pimp with Whitney out of her image, her physical image. And people gonna go watch a hologram be entertained. Nah, that's not for the rich and famous. That ain't for nothing for the everyday folk like myself. And I know you're going to be charging them tickets out the wazoo. I don't know what you and Pat got going on, but y'all need to stop this shit. If you want to sell memorabilia stuff, okay, that's good. Get it, got it good. Put some t-shirts out, t-shirts out there, put some sauce out there. Uh, hell, put some spoons and forks out there if you must. Make a damn table a symbol, okay? But it, you, but this, this shit you got going on with people playing with and all that kind of stuff, kind of looking like Whitney. We don't want it. We don't want it. We don't want it. Okay? That was highly disrespectful. But like they said, when you get to a certain point where you can't be used, you can't do what you used to do, allegedly, they were going to get rid of you, clone you, and put you out the pasture and pimp your image out to it ain't nobody's business. Okay? But, you know, that's all allegedly. I'm, I, you know, I'm so going to talk and have a conversation with Clyde to see why. I know we got no money. I know Clyde got enough money running around him you know, and all these other artists he's pimping out. But you know what? I'm going to go on to this article, Clyde, and we're going to talk about some things that you have wrote for the public to be partake of, okay? But we're going to get it for page six. And uh, I think his name was Carlos Greer wrote up the article. He titled it Clyde, Clyde Davis, Whitney Houston, had a teenage affair with Robin Crawford. And I'm like, Clyde, why do you do that? Did you go talk to your mom for you put some shit out here like that? Even though it might be true, it wasn't you to tell her story. Maybe her mom could have dropped the tea if she wanted to. I don't know, but she did. So we gave you permission to do it. I don't know, Clyde. I don't know. I don't know about you, Clyde. But in the article, he gave them gave the information. It's Clyde <clears throat> and the upcoming Whitney Houston biopic. I want to dance with somebody. Confirmed. Long-standing rumors about the late icon's relationship with assistant Robin Crawford. The movie does set the record straight. They did have a teenage one-year friend, David said in a new interview with Extra, that aired Thursday. I said, no, nah, Clyde, you sitting up here trying to sell a movie. You're trying to sell a biopic of Whitney Houston's life, enlarging and charge type of shit, okay? You didn't care about whether she had a relationship, but you held that over her head. No, you didn't, Clyde. I know you did. I know you did. But anyway, we're going to move on. The movie does set the record straight. They did have a teenage one-year friend, David said in an interview with Extra. Okay, and that aired. Okay, Davis is a producer on the biopic starring British actress Naomi Aki as Houston and Stanley Tucci as the legendary music is that. Yes, Tucci played too. I bet you had him uh, really looking like you and acting like you. Oh, can't nobody play nobody famous but themselves. Okay, why y'all just, why you didn't give it to her then? Why you didn't let her, her play her own little thing? I mean, you gave her a little something when it was the bodyguard, because that, that, that's still hitting hard. That's still hitting hard. I still, well, I had a copy of it. I don't know what happened shit. But anyway, we can relate to that particular movie, okay? You know, it would have been better, and it would have been more money for you if you had did this shit when she was alive. But it just is what it is. I'm tired of getting on your ass. You need to straighten up and act right now. Okay, we're going on back into the thing. It said, um, the film, which premieres Friday, chronicles Houston's chart-topping success and the highs and lows of her personal life, including motherhood, her drug addiction, and tantamonious marriage to singer Bobby Brown. And why you got to pick on Bobby Brown? Why you got to do that, Clyde? They had their own issue. You ain't have to touch on that. No. I mean, you could have touched on it a little bit, but you could have just, like, peeped in the door and then shared it back real quick. You know what I'm saying? Give us a little but don't give us a lot. They'll still have that what if or uh, could have, should have, would have moment to ourselves. But now nah, you're going to just bring it all out. Bring it all out to the You're going to lose a big-ass word like that. Why you just didn't use volatile? Why you just didn't use they were fighting like cats and dogs? Why you didn't use something like that? Don't be talking about our head, Clyde. We like layman's terms. We like when you just put it out there and hell everybody understand it on an elementary level. But moving on. 
Uh, it said Davis told actually the film highlighted her relationship with Crawford in part because there have been so many articles that have attempted to trace her addiction to being a frustrated lesbian that she never dated a man before she met Bobby Brown, all of which was totally inaccurate, he said. Mm hmm. This isn't the first time the rumor has been addressed since Houston passed away in 2012. Uh, Crawford also confirmed she and Houston had a physical relationship in her 2019 memoir, A Song for You, My Life with Whitney Houston. In the book, Crawford described her first kiss with Houston. Writing was long and warm like honey. <sighs> so you're trying to say it tastes like candy. Robin, is that what you're saying? You on, Robin, are you on the same way, Lynn Clyde? Oh, y'all on the same way, Lynn, trying to sit there and destroy Whitney. Y'all didn't want to do it. Y'all didn't want to play with her when she was alive. Because y'all know she would have slapped shit out of both of y'all and would have been suing for allegedly. But that's just my take on it. It's just if I was in Whitney's place or what I would have did, okay? Let me tell my own story. From A to Z, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, As we eased out of it, our eyes locked, my nerves shot up, and my heart beat furiously, she wrote. Something happened between us. We never talked labels like lesbian or gay. We just lived our lives, and I hope it could go on that way forever, she said. Crawford and Houston's physical relationship ended by 1982 when the singer started focusing on her singer career. She later dated Jermaine Jackson, who was also mentioned in the film. She married Bobby Brown in 1992. Well, Carl, since she was trying to dot your eyes and cross your teeth, didn't she have some with Adam Murphy? Didn't Adam Murphy give her a friendship ring, promise ring, to get to an engagement ring, engagement ring if she would have let it go? I ain't here. You talking about Adam Murphy? Or you, you had to pay Eddie Murphy. Is that what you're trying to say? You had to pay Eddie Murphy to let that go out. Because he wasn't going to let you use your name, his name for nothing, okay? Clyde, you know you're wrong. You're a dirty little dog. You're a dirty little dog. But anyway, going back uh, to the finale of the article, it says, As for what Whitney would have thought about the film, uh, she and I were pretty instinct on almost every issue. I'm proud, and I believe Whitney would be proud too, Davis concluded. Mm-hmm. Now, your ass was uh proud because you still get money off this deceased young woman, okay? And that ain't right, Clyde. You're going to tell a story. Tell all the facets. Tell her side. Tell Robin's side. And, and tell what the world was talking about out here about Whitney doing this, that, and the third. You know, and everybody trying to put it on Bobby Brown like he was the one that got her introduced to drugs, okay? And we know that wasn't true. That shit was already in her family, her biological family, all right? And Sister Houston knew about it. Oh, yes, she did. She knew about it. But now, big, big, big pockets got to come up here and do something uh, of a, a, what do you call it, a rendition of her life. You know you were wrong, Clyde. They were wrong bringing up a one-year affair uh, with Robin and stuff. Because, you know, it, it could have been something simple as she kissed the girl and she liked it. But she didn't take it no further than that. I mean, you don't put us in the driveway and think we're going to go somewhere. Mm -mm, you don't give us directions to a place you want us to be at so we can peek in and then shut the door again without consequence. Come on, Clyde. Come on. I mean, y'all always trying to do a hologram with her to go take that shit on tour. I don't want to see that. If anybody go and see that, they, they crazy. They crazy as hell. Knowing that artist dead. If you want to make a movie out of the situation, a good, detailed, feature movie, then okay. You could have did that. But this just was uh, it's too much, too much, Clyde. I wasn't pleased. I wasn't pleased. And from what I'm understanding, I'm researching, it wouldn't. It didn't do well at the box office. Mm -mm. It didn't do well at the box office. So I was kind of very disappointed that she would have, you know, still be trying to pimp this child out. There have been so many articles that have attempted to trace her addiction to being a frustrated lesbian over or never dated a man before Bobby Brown. And you were the ones that's going to play Santa Claus and come tell us the whole truth of everything. Like, was you good or was you bad? Well, we just going to come with the information, whether it's, whether it's uh, your rest of your family like it or not. Like, Clyde, you know you're wrong. You know you're wrong. Mm-hmm. And then, despite years of hearsay, including rumors that the affair long continued into their adult years. Neither of them confirmed their alleged romance while the star was still alive. And that's where it should have stayed when she died. Out of the public eye. Not being spoken of. If she didn't say shit, who gave you the right to put it out there, Clyde? 
you and Robin. That wasn't good. I hope she's still eating off that book deal. <sighs> I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Um, let me see, let me see. I think that's about it, really. I think that's about it. Claude, you did too much. Mm-hmm. Did too much. But um, we see it got a little dicey. Uh, let me see.